Hey guys, Gary here. Uh, got another little fishing video for you. Um, hope everybody had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Uh, I think this is the first time I've got to go out uh, in 2024. Um, last time I went out, I believe, was probably Christmas Eve uh, 2023. Um, and then we had, you know, family and Christmas, you know, activities. Um, going on there so they can get a chance to fish and then shortly right after that uh had a big storm roll through and uh, just trashed up the lake had a lot of flooding and um just i mean just trashed the lake up completely uh destroyed docks i mean everything and then uh then it about cleared up again and we had a almost identical second storm come through and um so today was about the first day that the lakes have cleared up enough to where they're kind of fishable uh, especially if you're doing artificials like me if you're doing live bait i, I probably could have got out there um you know uh, last or you know middle of last week or so maybe and got some but uh when you're trolling artificials you gotta they gotta be able to see them um a little bit so um went out there today and didn't turn out as expected um Kind of had two things happen. Uh, first off, I got in the water, um, got out there, and within two minutes, uh, first fish on, um, trolling umbrella rigs. And I got him in the boat and got back about situated and everything like that. And I decided to um, get my phone and uh, check my GoPro, see, um, you know, see, um, how zoomed in I was and everything and uh, check that. Well, lo and behold, I didn't have my phone. So at that point, I'm, I'm stuck. All right, do I fish on or do I play it safe and go load back up and go home? Could have come back out maybe, but um, I know they were running water. I think I got out there at about 11 o'clock and they were going to run water till one. Um, and if you're fishing umbrella rigs, um, in road hiss especially. Um, if they're not running water, you probably, you won't catch no stripers much. Uh, so, um, so I was torn. I didn't know what to do. I mean, I saw birds diving about half mile up the lake from where I was at. You know, and it looked like it's gonna be a phenomenal day and everything like that. And so, you know, what do you do? Do you fish on without the phone or you play it safe and go home? And decided to play it safe and uh, go home because um, fishing out of a kayak this time of year, the water temperature was 41, air temperature was about 30, 35. <coughs> and um, the golden rule of thumb is if both of those numbers added up don't exceed 100, um, then you really need to have a dry suit out there and I was kind of pushing it no uh, without a dry suit I do do waders and uh, I put on a rain vest over top of that so if I do take a fall in the water pretty much I'm not gonna get soaked I'll, I'll get a little bit of water in but you know I think would be able to survive it you know get to the bank and everything like that but if you don't have a cell phone there's no probably no way you would so um uh, so I decided to play it safe and uh, go home and uh, only caught one fish uh, with that being said. So, uh, uh, but we'll get out next week uh, if this rain don't destroy the lakes again. And uh, we'll give it a lot longer shot this time. I had high hopes. I wanted to try some umbrella rigs and I had a couple new crankbaits I wanted to try. So, um, um, but I didn't get to do none of that. But uh Anyway, here's the video. I'll show you the fish I caught, and then uh, at the end, I'll, I'll show you what I caught it on and everything. So, hope you guys like the video, and uh, we'll see you on the next one.
Okay guys, I uh, hope you liked the video. Um, here's what I caught the, the fish on. It's a six arm umbrella rig. Um, I'm gonna hold it up there. It's got a, it's a underspin jig head um, with a willow leaf blade there. Um, got a three and a half inch uh, chartreuse glitter, striper, sniper, um, shad body there. And that's, that's generally, generally what I run this time of year. The smaller, the better. I wish they made them in three inch or two and a half inch um, because I think they would do even better. But um, but they, they do good anyway. And, um, and I like the little spinner on them. I seem to do better with a spinner on them than I do without it. So, um, and what I do is I, I run a six arm rig, a 12 inch rig. Um, these are quarter ounce baits on the outside and I run a half ounce bait on the back bait. Um, can't if I can get it up there. So, uh, that's what I run and I run six inch liters here and then on the center bait I run a 24 inch liter. So, um, and that seems, seems to work pretty good on hickory and road hiss, especially, um, and that's the main two lakes I striper fish on and, uh, and it, it does, does real good. And you want to troll them at about two miles an hour, um, to maybe 2.2. Uh, if you get past about 2.2, the shad bodies don't do as good. They don't, I guess it, they get them moving too quick or something and, and the fish don't bite them. And if you go too slow, I think the fish have too much time to study them and, um, and they don't seem to bite as good. Um, I have caught them down to about 1.8, but really no slower than that. I think if you go slower than that, I would probably want to go with, a uh, without, the spinner, the underspin, and I would probably want to go with a curly tail instead of a shad body. I think that would probably work a little bit better. And I may try that next week a little bit. Some, so uh, uh, I do know people that troll some mini uh, umbrella rigs or some uh, um, Alabama rigs, and and they run those uh, the curly tail grubs. And uh, they'll get down to like 0.8 sometimes on those. And um, so, um, 
point, usually 0 0.8 to 1.5 if you're running the curly tails. So I may try some of those next week. I don't know, um, or may just go with the, the ones that I know work. So, um, but I hope you liked the video and um, just a little preview of what I'm gonna do in 2024. Um, and this'll be number one um, of 2024. Uh, but my main goal in 2024 is to see how many species of freshwater fish I can catch. Um, so we got number one, we got a striper already off the bat. Um, so that's, that's going to be the goal for 2024. I'm, I'm shooting for 15 to 20, somewhere in that range. Um, we'll see how it goes and, um, going to, going to try a lot of different things to catch those fish. And, um, and, uh, once we get past trolling season, probably around the first of March, that's when we'll probably not do as much trolling and we'll start doing more casting and, um, things like that for, uh, different fish. But right now trolling seems to be the best. May try some jigging spoons next week a little bit too. So, uh, it's, it's kind of jigging spoon weather too. If I can find some fish, we're, we're going to try some of that. So uh, stay tuned and I uh, hope you liked the video and we should have a bunch coming in 2024. I appreciate you guys watching and, uh, and we'll see you on the next video.